Here's another example. Capacitor in parallel. Remember, we're going capacitive because this side of the Smith chart is capacitance. This side of the Smith chart is inductance, right? So <clears throat> in parallel on my capacitance, I'm now going clockwise around this circle of constant conductance. And here we are in series. And now I'm back on the, on the impedance side <clears throat> and I'm going counterclockwise around the Smith chart this way. All right, is everybody asleep yet? Okay, here we go. Now let's, now we're getting to something a little more exciting. So now I'm building an antenna tuner. So I still have a 50 ohm load. I have a capacitor in shunt or in parallel and I have an inductor in series and my SWR is terrible because here at 50 ohms, I've added my capacitor and I took it all the way down here. So now what my inductor sees is 25 ohms and 24.99 negative ohms capacitance. And then by adding my inductor, I swing everything back up here and I still end up with a terrible uh, SWR because I'm at 25.25 and 25.01 inductive. What if this was something other than 50 ohm, like this? Oh, actually, before we get there, how would I fix this? How would I resolve that? What do I have to do? What do I have to add to this lumped circuit to get the impedance back to 50 ohms? I'd have to add a capacitor. Who said that? You've been, you've been through that. <laughs> anyway, you would add a capacitor in parallel, and you would be able to bring this right back down to 50 ohms. And there it is. 